every Skyrim buddy! Oh my god, finally we're back with my original Glorn character. And we're in the uh, Haymar's Shame, trying to work on this Clavicus Vile Daedric quest. Uh, this is the Clavicus Vile Shrine right here, and we already talked to the guy, and I thought we had already fought these guys, but there's more enemies. What the hell is going on? And then there's my Frost Thrall. And there's actually one of the enemies right there. I don't understand why we have to fight these idiotic vamps again. Here, vamp. Here, suck on this. I don't know if I can get through the cross thrall, but I'll try. Yes, I can. Hey. Oh, it's a nightcracker. We better watch out for her. Yeah, all right. We can whittle her down. Ow! Somebody's actually uh, chopping me from behind. I think it's by accident. It's the... Frost Thrall hitting me. Alright, let's take her out. Take the Thrall out. Uh, I think some vigorous healing will do, right? Chap! Oh, got her. That was not too hard. Now who's... Okay, that's just a Zargo. And a Nightcracker. Let's loot her really quick. Yeah, I always take the dust. Now, uh, there's a uh, iron crate right here that we can't open. I don't know how to uh, unlock the the gate itself. Uh, I can't get past the astronaut, so I guess I'm just gonna have to deal with him getting in my way. I don't know how to get him out of the way either. I can't boost or die him. I'm gonna have to clip right through him, I guess. Yeah, unfortunately. I, I'm just doing this to get around him, that's all. There we go. And we've already looted the chest, yeah. yeah. I'll take the frost rate, actually. I, haven't learned it yet. I don't care what you fear, lady. Now we do Oh, there's the chain. Let's yank on the chain. There, now they can go through. Well, the frost thrall can't get through the little passageway. That's the problem. So I wish there was a way to banish him, but there isn't. Yeah, I don't know. This is like one of the many bugs that uh, Bethesda never figured out. Huh. I never uh, hotkeyed my boots, the lo and also the Locket of St. Jib. That's what we need. Uh, we also need uh, boots of brawn to get through that. See? Yeah, I really have to hotkey those. Well, we're never going to get through, so why don't we just... Well, actually, I think we can if I just keep... Ooh, actually, let's, <laughs> let's let him handle the vamp. Meanwhile, on the other side of the world, uh, let's take a look at what... Um, Clavicus Vile gave us to do. So we have to retrieve the Rufal Axe with... No, that's not it. Yes, it is. With Barbus. Yeah, Barbus is the little dog, so we have to retrieve the Rufal Axe. And of course, to get out... Huh. It seems like the way out is actually back that away. That's odd. Uh, but let's take care of these guys first. Yeah, see, you can go out into Skyrim this way. I just have to figure out how to get through the stinking uh, Thrall. Go, Thrall! And there's nothing... This is the biggest bug in all of Skyrim. A stupid Frost Thrall trying to get through. And I don't have any way to banish him. Nope, I can't banish him. That would be nice. Well, I could bang on him with a Arshama. I could do that, actually. I could bang on my own cross throw. Well, actually, now he's fighting the vamp, so let's let him take it out. And then we'll continue on the Clavicus Vile quest. Okay, so she's won. Let's the Nightcracker Vamp. Good. She's almost dead. There, got her. What? Uh, here's a Night Stalker. And in this Glorn, which is my original Glorn, I am not up to 100 yet with my uh, crossbow or my archery, so I can use this freely and gain skill points. Okay, there's one left. Is that little, uh, that's him. That's uh, Barbulus. Come on, oh no, she just, she reanimated that vamp. Damn her. Now it's going to be extremely hard to get get her down. Well, there. There. The... What? Try to... There. I can get her from here. 
This is actually a great place to shoot vamps from. Bonk. I don't know if the Frost Thrall is ever gonna get out of the way, but maybe someday he will. Okay, and meanwhile, there, now my destruction recovered a bit. There. Oh, come on, this is gonna take forever, isn't it? Here, let's do, let's do Magicka. Magicka Potions, yeah. And then extra Magicka, thank you. And then uh, we need a Destruction Potion, there we go. 59% stronger, there, that will, that will put an end to it fast. See that? Putting an end to it a lot faster. Come on, get up. Yeah, I can't get her when she's down. That, that thrall just will not let me get past. Um, you ever wonder if uh, developers actually make bugs intentionally just to annoy the hell out of you? This that would be that would be Bethesda. Yep, and there's another bug. I hit the I hit the rock. Yeah, he's just not letting me get through. I just have to keep doing this. Oh god damn it! And then I thought I got through him, and then it pushed me right back. Ugh. Bugs upon bugs. You're almost dead, buddy. Night Stalker Vamp will go down with the Arshama. This is still a pretty powerful Arshama, even though it's nowhere near the power of my other one. There, decapitation. That was somewhat satisfying, wasn't it? Hey, Barbie Lewis. Alright. Dear God. Anyway. It just feels good to be back at Skyrim with the original character, huh? So I've been playing um, Glorn Skullkraken, the alternate Glorn Skullkraken on Twitch. And that's an... Oh, he finally got his ass through. Well, good for you, buddy. Um, yeah, we actually need to create a new slot. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to put a couple of things into uh, this. We're going to do the Locket of St. Jib, wherever that is. Huh. I haven't even favorited it yet. Yeah, we're gonna add Boots of Brawn in the locket. So we can um, add it to a category. Then we can very easily switch to them when we need to. See, so I, I favorited both of them. That puts them in the uh, list here. Now I'm going to do the Boots of Brawn. There it is. Okay, now we're gonna group it into group number eight. Yeah, confirm group. And then the Locket of St. Jib also goes in. Uh, group. Eight. Confirm group. Good. There we go. Now anytime I want to put those on, I just press that and we've got them on. Hey, cool, huh? This is the Sky UI mod. It allows you to group entire uh, suits of armor and things like that. See, like I've got all my destruction right here. It puts all of these on. See the Necklace of Destruction, the Ring of Destruction, Nakreen. So that can be very, very useful. So it says to go out this way. I don't know why we have to go backwards the way we came. That's kind of odd. See, we've got the Daedra's Best Friend selected. But it shows on the map we have to go back out this way. Isn't that fucking weird? Or maybe actually the... The artifact that he's talking about is right here in the cave, maybe. I don't know. Your gears is as good as mine. And by the way, um, the Frost Thrall and Barbus, they'll all catch up with this. I just don't know. Oh, here he is. Hey, Barbie Lewis. And what was weird is that we didn't see Barbus uh, earlier until um, we got to the shrine, and then magically he appeared again. Okay, into Hamar's cavern. Do we just have to go out? It looks like... No, not really. It's way over here somewhere. What the hell is... I don't know why it's making us go out this way. Well, let's go. The reason I'm taking you through this is because, you know, we haven't seen Haymar shame. I don't think I've uploaded Skyrim video in two months. I've been streaming a lot on you on Twitch, but with my alternate character. So, this kind of 
reorients you with the quest that we were on. See, we killed all the vamps. It turns out that there was a, this was a big vampire lair. Creepy, huh? And it is indeed a big one. And it's a really unique cave system too, because uh, it's a natural cave which was then made more navigable and accessible by all of these. Whoops! I forgot about that trap. It was made more accessible by all of this uh, woodwork and the planks and stuff. And most likely the vamps are the ones who put the who erected all this, all these uh, catwalks and uh, other planks and stuff. Okay, so out into Skyrim. It's a very snowy evening, and we're in the middle of a fairly big blizzard. Look, I've got three followers. I've got Barbie Lewis. I've got a uh, Jazargo. What the Frost Thrall? Let's see what Barbie Lewis has to say. Hey, so what's the story behind the Rueful Axe? One of Clavicus's little Jess. A wizard named Sebastian Lord had a daughter who worshipped her scene. Oh. When the daughter became a werewolf, it drove Sebastian over the edge. Oh. He couldn't stand to see his little girl take on such a bestial form. Uh-huh. The wizard wished for the ability to end his daughter's curse. <laughs> Clavicus gave him an axe. Oh, good for him. Okay, whatever. You have to excuse Barbus. He's a, um, I don't think English is even his first language. I think Yiddish was his first language, and he's from New York. Uh, probably from the Bronx. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. There's no end to the unusual accents in Skyrim. There's the fake uh, Norwegian accent. Ooh, retrieval your stolen goods. Okay, let's see where we need to go now. Air. It seems as though it's not giving us a... Huh, it's not giving... Oh, there it is, over here. Somewhere. Somewhere. Oh, wow, we have to go to the Rhyme Rock Burrow to retrieve the Rueful Axe. Wow. So the... And that's in the Hafinger Hold, close to Solitude. So the closest thing that we've discovered is pretty much uh, the Lost Echo Cave. So why don't we fast travel over there? Here we are in somewhere in the Hockinger Hold. Now we've got four followers. We've got Jazargo, we've got the Frost Thrall, there's Barbie Lewis, and we got Glorn Skull Kraken's horse. Let's get on the horse. Don't you love my armor? And don't you love 60 frames per second? You're watching this in 60 frames per second, by the way. And if it doesn't look like 60 frames, just make sure you're watching it in high definition, and it'll be 60. It's it just, it's amazing how well this uh, renders. And I'm recording using NVIDIA's Shadow Play, which makes it even smoother. It's much smoother than Fraps. Okay, we're on the right path. Let's keep going. Come on, guys. And if anyone gives us any trouble, we can whip out a... Weapon. Remember, you can do horse combat. That was added later in one of the later patches. It wasn't horse combat was not available during release. What the hell are you guys doing? It's a beautiful day in Skyrim, isn't it? It's just gorgeous out today. Almost hardly even feels like there could be dirty work afoot because it's so beautiful out. Okay, we're getting closer to the cave. Looks like it's actually down here. Yeah, it's down here. So we're gonna have to take this. There's a path down here. Let's just kind of hop off here. We'll let them handle it. Whoops, I landed right on a goat. Sorry! Yeah. Here is the cave. And it looks like somebody has already discovered the cave, clearly, obviously. Of course. Rhyme Rock Burrow. Is it under or over? Nope, it's over. In fact, um, wow, what's that? we've never discovered that down there either. What is it? It is. It's not the Ice Water Jetty, and it's not Castle Volkihar either. See, Castle Volkihar is way out there, so we'll have to explore that sometime. Man, this game is gigantic, and we've even discovered many other caves and uh, dwarven ruins in my Twitch channel, so if you ever want to go exploring with me. Twitch is actually the better place to watch Skyrim. But if you want to follow my original Glorn character, then you watch this series. Okay, now Rhyme Rockaburo. 
Speaky. Do I have all my followers? Yes, I do. Come on, guys. Well, I won't have anything to worry about. In fact, I probably don't even have to... You know, I probably don't even have to fight anyone. I can just let all of them screw everyone else up. Uh-oh, somebody's there. Wait, wait, wait. I see him. He's right over there. Uh, no, that's not... It's a frost thrall, but... There was a wooden post. I thought it was an enemy. That was pretty stupid. Aha! Got her. Okay. Let's put our boots on. See? See how convenient that is? Okay, guys. Uh, first, let's look around here on the ledges. You never know what you're gonna find on the ledges. Huh? Oh, oh there's somebody. Somebody was up there. It just wasn't. Ow! Ow! Damn! Ow! Well, there's my cue that I should probably shut up and stop recording for one day, but we'll take care of that idiotic sorcerer or sorceress in the next one, alright? So if you like this, you can subscribe to my channel, and you'll get Skyrim videos in your inbox, Fallout 3 videos, I do Vanishing of Ethan Carter, I'm going to be doing some Dying Light raw footage uh, episodes. So also, I stream on Twitch all the time, so... Go to my Twitch channel, too. The link is in the description of the video, okay? And you can see uh, three hours of Skyrim every week on my Twitch channel, too. But it's with my other character. All right, we'll see you next time in... Somewhere. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Oh, Rhyme Rock Burrow.